Hello and welcome, my dear students. This is a new episode for English for Prep 1. أهلا وسهلا بطلب طالبات الصف الأول إعدادي. هذه حلقة جديدة من مادة اللغة الإنجليزية تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. We're talking about an interesting unit, which is talking about holidays. وحدتنا الوحدة الخامسة ولسه بنتكلم فيها عن الأجازات. Let's continue what we had last time. Last time we talked about the places we can go on holidays. كلمنا على الأماكن اللي ممكن أروحها عشان أقضي الأجازة بتاعتي to spend my holiday. And we talked about how to talk about uh, a holiday using the past uh, simple tense. طبعا أنا بتكلم عن الأجازة فالأجازة بتكون in the past فبستخدم uh, زمن الماضي البسيط. And we learned how to use some expressions. Uh, بعض التعبيرات talk about activities that I can uh, do uh, in uh, holidays. ايه الافعال او الانشطه اللي انا ممكن اقوم بيها في الاجازات. So let's continue our unit. This is part 3. ده الجزء الثالث. So what we are going to have today? We still we are going to speak and describe a place talking about a holiday. We are going to uh, talk about um, a family from Jordan. عائلة من الأردن which uh, who um, came to Egypt to spend their holiday uh, in our country لجملة مصر عشان يقضوا أجازاتهم هنا في uh, دولتنا so we're going to talk about some famous places that uh, people came to visit in Egypt okay and next thing we are going to read an advertisement uh, about learning English in England هنتكلم عن إعلان بيتكلم عن تعلم اللغة في إنجلترا. So not all uh, holidays مش كل أجازات we spend to just to have fun. Uh, some holidays we go to learn something new. ممكن أقضي الأجازة بتاعتي إن أنا أسافر بقى عشان أتعلم حاجة جديدة. Like to learn English or to learn any other language أو أتعلم أي لغة تانية. And we are going to um, have a quick review on past simple tense وهنراجع مراجعة سريعة على زمن الماضي البسيط علشان نتأكد ان احنا اتقنناه. Let's start our first part which is about reading holidays. But before we start let's know these two questions to answer after reading. هنعرف السؤالين دولت قبل ما نبتدي ال reading بتاعنا عشان نجاوبهم. Number one what did Khan's family visit in Giza? ايه الأماكن اللي زارتهم عائلة خان في الجيزة؟ Number two, where did the, the Khan's family go for shopping for souvenirs? Okay, ايه المكان اللي راحوا له علشان يشتروا منه السوفينيرز؟ So, let's start our reading. So, it says almost 15 million people come to Egypt every year. It's a very popular place for a holiday. حوالي 15 مليون شخص بيجوا لمصر علشان قضاء الأجازة مصر واحدة من الدول المشهورة جدا الناس بتيجيها علشان تقضي أجازتها So let's continue When people come to Egypt they can visit exciting cities like Alexandria beaches uh, caves and the beautiful desert إيه الأماكن اللي بيجوها السياحة علشان يزوروا مصر زي شواطئ موجودة في مصر زي يروحوا اسكندرية الكساندريا يروحوا كيفز بعض الكهوف and الصحراء بتاعتنا. They also come to see uh, the many important places from history. طبعا في أماكن مشهورة تاريخية مشهورة في مصر بيجوا يزوروها. Let's continue. Here is the family. Uh, this is the Khan's family في عائلة اسمها عائلة خان. They are from Jordan. هم من الأردن. Last year they visited Egypt on holiday. في العام الماضي هم جم وزاروا مصر في الأجازة. They visited Giza. They visited Giza to see the pyramids and the Sphinx. طبعا we all, we all know uh, pyramids means الأهرامات and Sphinx means Abu Hul. And they rode on a camel. They rode on a camel. They visited the beautiful city of Luxor. وزاروا كمان مدينة Luxor. They went to the Valley of the Kings. They went to the Valley of the Kings where they visited the Karnak Temple. The Valley of the Kings هو وادي الملوك. 
and Karnak Temple, we already know this place before, اللي هو معبد الكارنك. Let's continue here. They also spend some days in Cairo. Spend means يقضي ده المودي بتاعه من فعل spend بدي. So they also spent some days in Cairo. They went shopping in the Khan El Khalili market. Okay. Here they bought souvenirs for their friends back at home. ولما رجعوا القاهرة راحوا they went shopping for souvenirs. Uh, فين المكان خان الخليلي ماركت سوق خان الخليلي uh, where they bought some souvenirs for their friends finally they went to Hergada and they swam in the Red Sea في آخر الهوليدي بتاعتهم راحوا الغرداء and they swam in the Red Sea ومارسوا السباحة في البحر الأحمر Egypt is a wonderful place for a holiday where do you want to go وفي آخر ريدنج بيقول لنا آه مصر هي من الأماكن الرائعة لقضاء الإجازة أنت بقى بتحب تروح فين on your holiday So let's continue Remember our first question was about what did Khan's family visit in Giza هم زاروا إيه في الجيزة Do you remember Yes of course they visited the pyramids and the sphinx زاروا الأهرامات وأبو الهول So they visited the pyramids and the Sphinx. Number two, where did Khan's family go for shopping to buy souvenirs? He's asking about the place. So he's unwriting al makan. Where did they go to buy some souvenirs for their friends? Eh, al makan. Yes, they went shopping in Khan al Khalili market for souvenirs. Rahu Khan al Khalili. Okay. Now, let's have a quick revision. تعالوا مناخد مراجعة سريعة on the past simple tense. على زمن الماضي البسيط. Do you remember that we use past simple tense to talk about certain actions that happened in the past. أفعال معينة حدثت في الماضي. So these actions started and ended in the past. بدأت وانتهت في الماضي. Okay. Type. We need to know how to form uh, correct sentences in the past. عايزين uh, نكون جمل صحيحة باستخدام الماضي البسيط. So let's know about the form. تعالوا نتكلم على شكله. By using verb to be. Verb to be بقى بشكله عامل ازاي in the past. So we have was and where. Was for singular pronouns and where for plural pronouns. Was للمفرد للدمائر المفرد where للدمائر الجمع. So let's see some examples. Here we have Maryam was frightened of the cave. Was, okay. So Maryam was frightened of the cave. If I want to make this sentence negative, I don't feel her. So I will use was not or the short form wasn't. So I. Or Maryam wasn't frightened of the cave. Okay, so I will say was not or wasn't. Let's see plural pronoun. Like there were camels in the desert. There were camels in the desert. Can fi camels fil Sahara? So if I want to make this sentence negative, I will add not to where. So there were not or weren't any. Um, cars uh, or camels in the desert. Okay, so in the negative, I add uh, with a singular, but add was not or wasn't. For plural pronouns, but add were not or weren't. Da na kute batkalem ala shat le verb to be. Lama batkawin be statement adaya, gomla adaya, or I make a negative uh, sentence or gomla menfei. Let's talk about regular verbs. La fa la adaya. Okay, the verb irregular uh, verbs بأد ليها ed الأفعال المنتظمة because I have in the past regular verbs and irregular verbs أفعال منتظمة وأفعال غير منتظمة الأفعال المنتظمة I add ed بضيف لها في النهاية in the end ed to express the past tense عشان أعبر عن زمن الماضي like what like climb هتبقى 
climbed, play, played. Like when I say I played uh, basketball uh, last week, I played. Or I climbed the mountains uh, in my last uh, summer vacation. Okay? So I add ed to the verb and this is expresses the past tense. So that's how it is about the past tense. What about irregular verbs? They have different forms in the past tense. They have different forms in the past tense. Like what? Go, it will be went. Swim, swam. Sleep, slept. And they have different forms, so we should memorize them. We should memorize them. Because they don't have a certain rule. They don't have a certain rule. Okay? Every verb has a different form. بيبقى ليه شكل مختلف, completely different from its present form. Okay? So, let's see if I want to make a question. Okay? I will use a question with the regular verbs. أنا بدوقتي مش بتكلم على verb to be because verb to be I will use was and where. Okay? Verb to be. لكن في بقية الأفعال اللي هي مش verb to be بستخدم Dead. If the question is a yes no question, okay, but I will start with dead. Dead it has the same form with every pronoun. بيبقى شكلها واحد ما ما بستخدم كل pronouns بستخدم عم dead. Okay, so dead I you he she at they we climb a mountain. What did you notice here? لاحظنا إيه. You will notice that climb. went back to its uh, present form. هترجع تاني نفس شكلها في present. I will delete ED here. So, did you climb a mountain? Okay. So, the answer will be yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay. If I want to make a complete sentence, لو عايز أعمل جملة كاملة. So, I will say I did not climb the mountain. ستيل برضه في الإجابة لما بستخدم did not الفيرب بيبقى في الشكل بتاعه البيسك فورم without ed بيرجع بدون إضافة ال ed so did or did not هي لوحدها بت express ال past simple tense لوحدها بتعبر عن زمن الماضي فالفيرب بيرجع في شكله العادي اللي هو بدون إضافة ed أو الشكل ال present form لو هو irregular لو هو غير منتظم So, when I ask, start a question using a question word like where. So, where did you go on holiday? Okay. So, I'll say, I went to Alex or we went to Alex. الإجابة هنا في الباس simple tense. So, go هتبقى went. Okay. I hope it's easy right now. أعتقد إن هو كده بقى سهل شوية. الباس simple tense بالنسبة لنا. طيب. في كل تنس بيبقى معايا كي ووردز كي ووردز بتديني هنت او كلو تلميح ان انا كده بتكلم عن الماضي like in the past or yesterday or last year last month last week last tuesday last هنا means الماضي okay when i used an old Uh, year, سنة قديمة مش بتكلم عن السنة دلوقتي فأو بقول in 2000 okay when ago when I say month ago من شهر عدى أو فات a week ago it means منذ okay so I want you to memorize these irregular verbs الأفعال الغير منتظمة دي عايزاكو uh, to memorize as they are زي ما هما okay to know their forms عشان نعرف شكلهم like what I have here eat. In the past will be ate. So when I say I ate pizza yesterday, I ate, not I will not say I eat yesterday. I will say I ate pizza yesterday. Okay? Swim, it will be swam. Okay? Sleep, it will be slept. Put, it will be put. Drink, it will be Drank, go, it will be went, ride, it will be rode, have, have or has, the same, it will be had, buy, it will be 
bought, make will be made. And see, yoro will be so. Okay? So this is the past form or the present form. The shakl ptahum fi al mudara. And this is their past form. The shakl ptahum fi al past, fi al modi. Okay? Now we are going to have uh, questions. Hayb andena asila. And uh, they are not in the correct order. Homa mish bi tartib ptahum al sah. We need to reorder them. Aizin nai tartibhum to make a correct question in the past tense. عشان نعمل سؤال صحيح في زمن الماضي البسيط. So if you understand the tense, tense, لو أنت فاهم الزمن كويس, you will be able to make a correct question. هيبقى أسهل عليك تعمل ال question بشكل صحيح. So where on holiday last go year you did? I will start with what? It's a question. So I will start with the question word, which is where, and then helping verb. إيه اللي هو ال helping verb أو الفعل المساعد اللي هيعبر لي على ال past tense it will be dead. طيب after dead I will should use a pronoun. Pronoun ضمير. الضمير عندي هنا إيه? You. Okay. And then the rest of the of the sentence. بعدين بقيت the rest of the question or the rest of the words. بقيت الكلمات which can make sense. واللي هتديني معنى للquestion. So let's see the answer. Where did you go on holiday last year? So I'll start with where, and then did, and then you, and then the rest. Go on holiday last year. Pay attention. Go. It's in the present form. رجعت لشكلها العادي في المدار. عشان I have did. Let's see number two. You did where stay? It's a short question. So let's see. Yes, I will start with where. Hatid where, and then dead. This is the helping verb, the فعل المساعد, and then the pronoun you, and then stay, the main verb, the فعل الأساسي. So where did you stay? Stay means you came. At fin. Where did you stay? Number three. Their travel did how you. So the question word is what? It's how, it's how, and then did, this is the helping verb, and then you, this is the pronoun, and then the main verb, it's travel, and then the rest, it's there. So this is the easiest way. The أسهل طريقة عشان أكون السؤال بطريقة صحيحة. So let's see, how did you travel there? How did you travel there? It's a first day. Number four. A mountain did climb you. I have here did starts with a capital letter. يبقى معناه دي البيجينينج بتاعتي. And it's a yes no question. لما السؤال بيبتدي ب helping verb, it means it's a yes no question. هل يا نعم يا لا. دي الإجابة بتاعتي yes or no. So did I will start with that. This is a question. The beginning of the question and then you, the pronoun and then the main verb which is climb. And then the rest, which is a mountain. So let's see. Yes, did you climb a mountain? Had you traveled the Jabal? Okay. Number five. Eat what you did. So I will start with. Have to be what, and then did. Yes, and then you, the pronoun be I, and then eat the main verb. So. The question is, what did you eat? Okay, so now we are going to learn about an advertisement. Alain, Alain about what? About learning English in England. Alain, علشان the students who learn English, اللي بيتعلموا English, يسافروا يتعلموا يspend their holiday in England to learn English, to take some courses. عشان يأخذوا كورسات هناك. Okay, so we are going to read three stories about three different students. ثلاث قصص أو ثلاث conversation أو حديث أو dialogue. هما بيكلمونا في عن their study دراستهم هناك in England to learn English. So they spend their holidays there. هما أدو أجازتهم هناك in England. So 
let's see some questions here. It says, read the text quickly and answer the questions here. So we have, what holiday activity does the advertisement describe? إيه هو نوع النشاط أو الأكتيفيتي اللي بيوصفوا لي الإعلان؟ Number two, did the three students like this holiday activity? هل هم الطلبة حبوا النشاط الصيفي بتاعهم أو النشاط اللي في الأجازة بتاعهم؟ Okay, so let's read the beginning of the advertisement. تعالوا من نقرأ بداية الإعلان. It says, our students come from all around the world. Come from all around the world. Go men and hay مختلفة من العالم to study and learn in this exciting city. عشان يتعلموا في المدينة الجميلة أو الرائعة دي. Okay, all around the world means حول العالم. Holiday courses are for one, two, or three weeks. في بعض الكورسات اللي بتبقى في الأجازة ودي بتبقى ل one or two or three weeks مدتها أسبوع أو اثنين أو ثلاثة. Okay, let's see the first. Student. Her name is Laura, and she is from France. She said, "I learned English and had a really great holiday." At the same time, هي تعلمت English. We استمتعت بوقتها. London's shops are fantastic. London's shops are fantastic. I bought a lot of souvenirs. We اشتريت كتير من souvenirs. My favorite activity was a ride on the London Eye. As you see in this picture, this is called London Eye. Okay, it's a Ferris wheel. The, as we see in the theme park or the amusement park. حاجة زي ما بنلاقيها في الملاهي. This is called London Eye. Because there was a beautiful view of the city from the top. عشان هيك بتقدر تشوف the view of the city from the top. This is Laura from France. Our second friend, she is Mona from Egypt. She says, "I had a wonderful time at the language school." He added, "What a beautiful time in the language school, in the school of language." She said, "I was there for two weeks." Added, "He said two weeks." Is Boyin? It was nice to meet students from different countries. Can she write? Did he get a visit from different countries and countries? My favorite place was Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle, it's a royal palace, the castle ملكي أو قلعة ملكية. We went there by train. We went there by train. We walked all around the castle. هما مش حوالين the castle, but we did not see the queen. Queen, the queen of England, of course, ملكة إنجلترا. This was Mona from Egypt, and our last friend, Jürgen from Germany. Jürgen from Germany. Jürgen from Germany. He says, when I first came to the language school, في أول مرة لما جيت language school مدرسة اللغات. I was not very good at English. ما كنت شاطر أو في الإنجليش. But the teachers helped me a lot. ساعدوني كتير. The lessons were fun, and for homework we did interesting projects. The homework بتاعهم كان عبارة عن projects. Projects means مشروعات. Okay. I enjoyed speaking English. وقال إن هو استمتع بتعلم اللغة الإنجليزية. This was Jürgen from Germany, من ألمانيا. Let's remember the first two questions. They are, they were, what holiday activity does the advertisement describe? Advertisements means Alain. Il can, the activity li can be usifu il Alain. Yes, learning English in London. Ta'alum lohal inglesia fi London. London, it's the capital of England, the summit, Inglaterra. Number two, did the three students like this holiday activity? Hal it talabadul is tam tabil holiday activity? Yes, they did. Yes, they did enjoy their holiday activity. Now let's have a quick revision on what we had so far on Unit Five. تعالوا نأخذ مراجعة سريعة اللي إحنا خدناه في Unit Five. Now we are going to have a choose exercise. هيبقى معانا choose exercise. We are going to choose from A, B, C, or D. Number one, we have. There were camels in the sea, desert, river, lake. إيه المتوقع إيه الكامل نلا بلاقي الكامز where in which place في أي مكان. Yes, right, in the desert, في الصحراء. Let's see number two. Children 
enjoy building on the beach. Children, enjoy building on the beach. بيبنوا ايه في البيتش على الشواطئ؟ Caves, rocks, sand castles, mountains. Yes. Correct. Bravo. They build sand castles. Okay. Number three. We swam in the lake and the mountains. ايه الاكتيفيتي اللي انا بعمله غالبا when I go to a certain mountain. لما بروح لجبل climbed, went, road or made بعمل ايه؟ yes I or we climbed يتسلق so we swam in the lake and we climbed the mountains وتسلقنا الجبال number four we had a picnic in at last week picnic means to uh, spend a time at Uh, an open area, في مكان مفتوح, like a park or a garden. Okay, so we had a picnic in what? A, the cinema, B, the Azhar Park, the C, the junk. Which one is the correct answer? إيه الإجابة الصحيحة? Yes, it's Al Azhar Park. This is a garden or an open area. You can have picnic there. So this was a quick revision on some places or some Uh, activity we do on holidays. Let's continue. Let's see what we had in this episode so far. تعالوا نعرف إحنا أخذنا إيه في الحلقة دي لحد دلوقتي. Or this is the end. Speaking. We described a place we were talking about Khan's family who came from Jordan to visit Egypt. كنا نتكلم عن عائلة خان اللي جو مصر علشان يتكلموا أو عشان يزوروا مصر. And uh, number two, we read an advertisement about learning English in England. وقرينا إعلان كان بيكلم عن تعلم الإنجليش في إنجلترا, especially in London, which is the capital of England. And we used the past simple tense to form right questions. واستخدمنا زمن الماضي البسيط علشان نكون questions صحيحة to ask about activities in the past. Okay, this was the last part in our episode. See you in the next episode, my dear students. I'll see you in the next episode with English for Prep 1. Thank you.